everyone and thanks for joining me today now this is our second video of things to do while we're in isolation crafty things to do while we're in isolation so this is number two and this is wow he nearly landed on my head um this is mindful coloring or adult coloring creative coloring um whatever you want to call it so i do have quite a few of these um adult coloring books and you are being a pain and i have been doing some of them now these are great because um they are you know they do take a bit of time they do um you know all depending on what sort of image you have there's quite a lot to it but it's something you can start and then go back to so you don't have to do it all in one um they're great if you just want to do a little bit and then come back stop it oh will you stop he is being a nightmare <laughs> such a little tinker so i have had um been doing a few so let me see if i can find the ones that i've done right i mean this one here oh my gosh love it look at this and then what you can do then these books are from the works and they're on quite sturdy cardstock it's not like flimsy paper so these you could turn into tags you know cut this up and make this into a gorgeous tag for a journal um or a journaling card and on this one i used these pens they are the scribblicious gel pens but any gel pens are fine i do have some other ones and i've also got some metallic ones so um these are brilliant because you actually get 60 gel pens i think they were 10 pounds but you know they're great absolutely great they've got sparkly ones they've got fluorescent ones metallic and just the normal and pastel ones so there's quite a few in there so this is what i did with those i mean didn't that turn out beautiful i just love it so there's that one um this one i started i've still got a little bit to do and on this one i used my watercolor pencils flipping heck will you stop now that's gone down the back of my desk every time i've got a gap at the back of my desk i need to get a board or something but because he woofs his tail and <laughs> he's just looking at me like, what? Oh my gosh. I'm going to bop you on the nut in a minute. Right, okay. So this one is watercolour pencils. So um, that's another one that I've done. And I think I made a start on the dog as well. Uh, let's have a look, see what other ones I've got in here. That might be all I've done in that one. Let's put that to one side. And then I've done anything in this one. Uh, oh, maybe not done any, any in that one. And then I think I've done something in here. Ah, oh, yes, this one was watercolour pencils. And he's turned out really cute. And some of them, there's not an awful lot to. Some are more. There's more to them. Oh. Um, that one I've started. That was with my gel pens. Uh, did I do any more? I think that's it. So I thought I would sit and do a little bit with you. Um, and show you how I do them. So let's find one. Uh, I can't, oh, I've done that one as well, made a start on that one. Oh, which one shall I do? Which one shall I make mind up? Uh, should we do this one? Right, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my watercolour pencils today. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see what I do. And all I do, I have a load of watercolour pencils here and a um, water pen, you know, like a, um, it's just got water in it. It's just like a little brush water pen um then i have a usually have a cloth which i don't have where is my cloth gone don't know right and it is so easy watercolor pencils are just lovely to use so um all you do with watercolor pencils oh let me see let's just you just go over it over your Don't get your head in the way. So 
so you just literally color over the area that you want and then what you do I'm going to zoom in for this one just so you can see what happens and then you just go over it with a watercolor pencil and you'll see how it kind of changes And you just rub your water pen over. I've gone over the lines there because I'm holding it up. And that's it. That's all there is to it. But it's just really, um, it's quite therapeutic is the word, isn't it? Um, and then I'm going to do some different colour leaves. That one's quite light, actually. Let's do a a darker green oh that's blue look that looks green if you can see oh, i don't know but it's actually quite blue let's do a dark green okay we've got a different green here but you know there's lots of things that you know we always say we don't have time to do so i um, just trying to you know give you a list of things that we can do you know while we've got time on our hands and this is quite rewarding rewarding when you've finished it it's almost like a jigsaw puzzle you know when you start a jigsaw puzzle and then you finish it mind you I haven't done a jigsaw puzzle in absolutely years and then you just get your I mean, look how that changes colour slightly. You don't want to add... Oh, I've gone over the lines. But if you're quick enough, you can actually mop it up with your finger or cloth. I'm just going to do this stalk here. My husband says that I stick my tongue out when I'm concentrating, so I'm glad you can't see that. <laughs> that probably would not be very attractive. Um, and then we've got a different leaf again over here. So let's use this other green. And these um, containers go with my like Rascog and they fit on the side. And so I've got one downstairs that I um, have when I'm doing things downstairs. So that fits on my Rascog downstairs, which is so great because it's got wheels on it. So if I'm sat on the sofa, I just wheel my little trolley over and I've got my little things in there. Oh, you're stealing my pen. Um, that's mummy's. No, that's mine. Not yours. I do like the watercolour pencils. I have got some other ones somewhere and can I find them no I can't oh now look what you made me do you made me go over the lines I was doing such a good job there look what he's made me do made me go over the lines. you are a monkey 
That would have been perfect. And I've gone over. And see him to the side. He's so naughty. It's my pen. It's mine. Right, look. He's made me go over. I don't know if you can see that. I've gone out the lines now. Uh, where's my lid gone? To my, you've lost my lid as well, haven't you? To my watercolour thing. I have notes there. Can't blame him for that one. Right, I've got one more green. I can't believe you made me go out the lines. No, it's not perfect anymore now. You're a little tinker, Charlie. Um, <clears throat> I keep think, trying to think of more and more things for you to do. Oops. And if with this you just squeeze it a little bit and a bit more water will come out then. Oops, too much water came out then. Try not to um, squeeze it too much because then you drown it. But you can always mop it up with a a tissue or you know, a bit of kitchen roll or something. I'll probably make tags or, you know, you can fussy cut some of the things out once you've done them as well. Um, I forgot which pencil I was using. I think it was this one. Right, and um, let's do... Like I said, this is great because you can do some of it and then come back and finish it off. You know, if you haven't finished it, you can come back and do it another day. I've got quite a few that I, I'm terrible. I do start some and then not finish them. I actually have one that I, when these first came out, oh my gosh. I used to sit and do them all the time, especially when I get ill. Um, you know, it's something I I can't sit and do nothing. I have to do something. And it's great. You could just have a pot of pencils beside you and um <clears throat> you know it keeps your brain active a little bit. Oh, we've got some more green over here. Um right, we've got more green up here. I try to do like all the leaves first, then I do the flowers. Have like a little thing where I think, oh, do all the leaves first. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and then I do the flowers and things after. And then I've noticed we have 
<clears throat> some leaves over here as well. I remember when I first found um, a water, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> watercolour pencils. Oh, I love them. Really, really love them. They're quite addictive, actually, because it, it just changes, you know, your colouring. Oh, I've gone up the line again. There you go. I caught that one in time. But if you're quick enough, and that one is just a little bit of water, too much water on there. And what you can do, if it's not enough colour on it, let it dry, and then you can go over it again um, and put another layer on it. <coughs> right. Oh, look, there's some leaves over there as well. Goodness me. Um... Let's use one of these that we've used. Let's do this darker one. Like an olive green. And when you use the pencil, don't worry if it looks patchy. Because when you go over it with your um, water pen, brush your water brush. Um, it fills all that in, as you'll see in a minute. See, it just colours in all those patchy bits. Look, isn't it just delicious? Oh, do you know what? I'm not. I tell you what, it is. It's because I'm not right close up because I'm under the um, camera. I. I don't know if that's my excuse for going up the line anyway. And if you've got the, you know, not, these are quite thick pages. If you haven't got, if you've got a book that's not thick pages, you could use them for pages in your journal. Um, you know, things like that. Right, what colour flowers should we do? Oh, I'm always want to do pink. Always like, oh, I need to do pink. I like this colour, actually. Let's try. I don't know what this is going to look like. I always want to do pink. <laughs> but I'm trying a different colour this time. What I'll probably do is let that dry and then go in and do some darker colour um, after it's dried. And just to give it a little bit of depth to it. I'm not sure if I like this 
colour that I chose on this um, flower to be honest but never mind I wish I could find my other ones actually I'm sure um, I'm sure I have more I'm sure I haven't put them all in here because I can't find my stamping up ones I'm sure I'll come across them at some point see I've just seen a bit I missed there must have about 20 um, of these books I've got some butterfly ones actually I've probably got more I'm terrible if I like something I kind of get a bit carried away um, with it right okay um shall I do a yellowy flower I don't know I'm gonna do something hmm See, that kind of looks almost sunflowerish, doesn't it? What colour this would be? It's kind of sunflower. I know it's not a sunflower, but it's making me want to do it like a sunflower. I don't know what colour I'm going to do the bird, actually. I haven't made my mind up. I'm not very good in bird colours. Uh, so we'll have to just see what happens with the bird. Right, and then I want like a brown. This brown on the inside. Right, let's see what this comes out like. Oh, I like that. It's almost like a goldy colour. Look how that changes when you you add water to it. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I like that one. That is delicious. We've got another one over there the same, don't we? That's quite pretty, actually. Quite like that. That's come out really lovely. You know, you can even, if it's nice weather, go and sit out in the garden with your pot of pencils and your your colouring book. 
very therapeutic actually and very re re rewarding when you finish it I don't know what colour I'm going to do the bird. Oops, thinking he should have a light chest actually. So, while I've got this pencil, let me do his chest nice and white. Well, not white, but um, light. How oh, nice and light. Right, we can do that. And while I've got a bit of colour on that um, brush, what you can also do is pick up some colour from there and look, brush it in on that. And then it will blend in and give him a little bit of depth on there. So like that gives you a little bit of a colour there as well. Um, and what I might do is that that one, yeah. Um, let's do some of that in his wings here. And his tail. In fact, what I'm going to do is just do this here. And then I'm going to do a different colour on his head. And then we'll do, oh, I've got to do this a flower as well, haven't I? Let's just, and it's good because if you haven't used your water brush, you can see that you haven't used it. So you don't really miss anything, if you know what I mean. So you can see that you've not actually gone over it with your brush yet. So if you have to stop and answer the phone or something, you know exactly what you've done. So that's what I like about them as well. Right. Okay. Um, let me find a ball round. I just want to do this branch here. And I've got another one here, so we might as well do this while we've got the pencil out. And that one in green. There you go. And then I think I'm going to use, what colour did I use? I think it was this one. I'm going to use this on top of his head. Maybe add a little bit just in here. Just add a little bit of colour. Do 
I don't even know what colour bird's eyes are. What colour are bird's eyes? And then you can just come in here to add a little bit of depth. It's a little bit brown, isn't it? Oh, let's find a orangey colour. I did tell you I wasn't very good with birds. He's a funny colour bird, really, isn't he? I don't know if I, I don't know if I like it. Um, green, green, green. It's a little. Um, I think I want to do some little red buds over here. And you can just let your imagination go wild. Your creative imagination, I should say. Go wild with your colours and... Get cre oh god, I've gone over again. There you go. And that just leaves that one flower over there. Um what colour shall we do that? Mm hmm It's a different orange maybe. Oh, that's quite yellow, isn't it? Uh, it's very yellow. do orange in the middle here And this didn't actually take very long to do, did it really? But I probably did it quicker than what I normally would. Because um, I didn't want to sit here and pour you for hours. Um, you can take a bit longer than what I did. I rushed through this. But I just wanted to give you an idea. But look, it still turned out very pretty. And then you can go in and once it's dry... Um, you can go in and add, oh, where's my orange gone? You know, like some more sort of colour here, look. So, wait till it's dry a bit, and then you can come in. And add, like, a little bit of texture there. I mean, look at that, how that different that looks. See, 
so just wait for it to dry and then you can come in and add more to it so adding a little bit of here and then just come in Add a little bit of depth there and then I think what I'll do I just want to add a little bit different color in here if I can I don't know if I can but we'll try see what that looks like See, look, I don't know if you've noticed how different that now looks and just come in and... Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know what happened there. That was my portal acting all weird. So that is the finished. Um, doesn't it look gorgeous? And that didn't take long at all, actually. That was like, what, half an hour that took to do that. I mean, I did it not quite happy with the bird, but... I just wanted to give you an idea but look how beautiful that is and how therapeutic it is as well so this is number two on our 25 things to do while we're in an isolation so if you have any of these coloring books pull them out and um, have a little go so I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching and see you all very soon take care bye bye